Hello? Yo, bro. Bro, he's got a needle in his hand, he's got a needle in his hand, he's got a needle in his hand. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What is going on people and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, recently we found a dead body at an abandoned place, okay? It was a very traumatic experience, especially for Luke. I'm not filming that, we need to call the police. Let's get outside, get outside. <coughs> get outside, we need to call the police. Oh my God. I'm not filming that, bro. Oh we need to call the police. But we've heard back from the police and um, all their checks have been done, etc. Uh, we don't hang around, we don't want to get too involved. Next time, if hopefully there's not a next time, but next time, if you really want me to, I'll film the police. They just don't really like it, it's just hassle and it makes us look pretty sus, do you know what I mean? Yeah. At the place we were at, me and Luke were pretty sure that someone was potentially living there. I definitely think someone is living here, bro. Wait, wait. Bro, 100% someone's living here, bro. Well, a day ago, I got a message from one of my viewers that attended the building to look around and to get some urban photos and exploration pictures, etc. He sent me an image of a drug addict, crackhead, homeless guy inside the room. Me and Luke were pretty too scared to go in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, we come up with a bit of a plan here. We thought, why not help this guy? We believe from what the police have said, this guy was not involved. He's just got a drug habit. He's in a lot of issues and he's living in a dirty abandoned building and bro the state of that room like oh, mate. that's it that's not habitable for anybody nah. so uh, we we've sorted some things out we've worked with a couple of people and um, we've hooked up a couple of deals for this guy but we are risking ourselves quite a bit we are literally outside the building right now it's uh, just behind me uh, if you remember uh, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be approaching the homeless guy the the uh, drug addict and we're gonna be asking if uh, we can help him out basically we're gonna Gonna chat to him we're bringing the camera purely for safety reasons in case he tries to stab us with a needle or something and also for his own protection so he knows we're not just gonna attack him in his own home and again you guys want to see it it's been highly requested of us to help out someone that's kind of in need so if he is still there which we're kind of hoping we're gonna go and do him a favor as I said we've hooked up some things we've got him a week in a hotel now remember we're not rich we haven't got everything we've me and Luke have literally done what yeah. we can to make this happen we've got him some food vouchers we've got him some help with a drug clinic we're also going to support him ourselves. We're going to give a bit more detail in that later if he accepts and wants us to help. Luke's also got something in his hands there. It's a it's a little safety drug bin. Um, boom. Boom. We ordered that off Amazon. It is like proper. Um, and basically we're going to clear up the location that he's in. Fellow explorers that come round and stuff don't hurt themselves and their needles and they they get like AIDS and things like that. Like, I don't know. Uh, I'm talking hypothetically here, but you know, just a bit of a safety thing. We've got gloves. We've come prepared. We're ready to do this. We want to help this guy out. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe hopefully he's not too restless with us yeah. hopefully he doesn't try and attack us this is something different but we're meeting up with a drug addict which yeah something uh, different something very different yeah. so hopefully he's all right hopefully we can help him out and uh, hopefully we can take you guys along with us so um yeah make sure to follow me on instagram uh, because i post all my updates on there and I always ask you guys for favors we did try and get someone to come and help us with this today because we wanted to go with more than just two of us but yeah they didn't come. It's just us, isn't it, Luke? Yeah. Um, a bit more risky, a bit more scary, uh, but hopefully we'll be having some other people join the team very soon. So, yeah, make sure to like the video, as I've already said, and I'll see you guys very, very soon when we approach the drug addict. Peace. Yeah. This is where the photo of the, the drug addict was sent to us. Okay. It's quite scary meeting up with a drug addict, isn't Mate, it? because I don't know how he's going to act, you know. Do you want me Do to go first? Do you even know if he's a man? I don't know. I think so. It looks like it. Do you want me to go first? I don't know. I'll go first. Yeah. I'll go first. Sure. I'll go first. Yeah. Yeah. Just make sure whatever you do, you stick around the door. You can be involved, have my back, just stick around the door in case any of his mates or something. Okay, yeah. All right. So this one, yeah, not not that one. In the middle. All right. All right. In the middle, I'll float around. Just opened. Hello. Hello. I don't know if there's anyone here. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yo, bro. Bro, he's got a needle in his hand. He's got a needle in his hand. He's got a needle in his hand. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I think he's just recently taken a hit or something, bro. He's out of it. He's out. He, he, oh, he could be a deep sleeper. He's got like a rope on his hand, um, belt, something like that, like cutting the blood supply. 
I don't know too much about heroin and things like that, but I think he's a user, like we thought. Hence why we've took the bucket to obviously use to clear up. What do we do? Yeah, he's not going to wake out of that for a while, and when he does wake out of that, I reckon he'll be quite reckless. We can't, we can't leave. We can't just sit in his house, bro. We can't just sit in there. Oh, yeah. Imagine waking up here yeah, after you'd like, I don't know, smoked a joint or something, yeah. Yeah, and you just woke up and, and someone was sitting in your bedroom watching you. Yeah, and no, that no, I'd be a bit spooked out, but we can't leave him. The man's fucking just shot a load of drugs in him. I reckon we just wait around. Do you want to? We just got to wait around. So, um, as you just saw, he's out of it at the moment. So we are going to just gone? hang around for like an hour. Just yeah, hope he wakes up. Hope he's okay. See what happens. Right, he's awake. I can hear him doing something. Right, back on set. We have literally waited here for about an hour. We have literally been here an hour. Jesus Christ. We're just gonna have to, like, bro, he, he doesn't mean he smashes up, he doesn't even know we're here. He doesn't even know we're here, Luke. He's acting all fucking aggressive. Yeah, he's gonna be high, bro. He's gonna be high, so we need to chat to him, we need to calm him down. Okay, right, right, stay stay close. Right. Yo, hello? Hello? Uh, uh, back, okay. back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. No way! No way! We just want to check you're alright, mate. We've been waiting for you for about an hour. We won't enter unless you don't want us to. Just gonna push the door open just to make sure you're alright, okay? Calm down. You're right, mate. Fuck off! No! No! We just want to help you out. No! No! We just want to help you out. Can you put the needle down and come chat to us? No! 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 This seems fucking very agitated. I don't want to invade his personal space too much. I don't really want to, like, he's holding needles. Listen, mate, we're not going to come inside, I promise you. We will not enter your place, okay? This is your house. I can respect that. But we want to help you out, right? We've, we've been heard that you've been sleeping here for, for a while, and we just want to help you out, all right? No! No! If you could, if you could put the needle down for us... No! Please. Then no. We, could, we could maybe chat to you. We, we've got... We want to help you. No! All right, all right, now we'll respect it. We'll go away out here until you're ready to talk. We'll come out, we'll, we'll wait outside until you're ready to talk. We'll wait outside until you're ready to talk. <laughs> what if he fucks us up? <laughs> this guy, man. Let's keep eyes on him at all times, okay? At least one of us. This guy, it's like something out of the um, fucking game. The grudge. Yeah. Mate. That's right, we've got to just be a bit respectful, just chill. We obviously don't know what's, what he's doing, what's, what's going on at the minute. Jumped up and like, yeah. please, please, just, just relax. On. We're not here to hurt you, bro. Right, so he's obviously on a come down or whatever, a high or whatever. I don't really know, but he's unaware of what he is and what we are. So we're just gonna back off. Remember, we're not here to be disrespectful, we're literally here to just offer him some help. Yeah. If he really turns around to us in the end and says, No, go away properly, um, then we will just leave. Uh, we do expect him to try and attack us first, and we're gonna just try and calm the situation before we just fuck off and leave him because. People always like turn away help straight away. Um, but if he really, 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 really doesn't want us to, what can you do? Do you know what I mean? Bro, chill out, mate. I know this is gonna happen, see, I told you. Just keep keep steps back, okay? Don't go. Right, we're gonna make sure we keep two meters away from you, okay? Right? Please put that down. Listen, listen, we're not here to hurt you. We're not gonna hurt you. Alright, what's your name? Please, we're good guys. We're good guys. We've got we've got some things to maybe help you out. We're not gonna harm you. We're not gonna hurt you. We're not gonna arrest you. We're nothing like that. And you put the bat down, <laughs> right? <laughs> Stay over there. Right. Keep two meters. Keep two meters. Keep two meters. Keep Stay two meters. Fuck over there, man. Right. Keep a distance. All right. Okay. Listen. Listen. Right. He's got a needle. We don't want that needle anywhere near us. All right. Right. If you really, really want us to leave, we will leave. But I promise you, you're turning down an amazing offer here. Right. We've got some things for okay. you. We've got okay. some stuff for you. We want to help you out. So if you can place the bat on the floor, place the needle on the floor. There's no one else here. Look. Stay, Come and have a look. Luke, there, Luke, step back. Luke, step back. Come outside and have a look. Come outside and have a look. It's just us. It's literally just, just us. Just us, mate. We're aware you're a heroin user and we want to help you out. Okay. Okay. Come. Come. I don't know if we want to come inside yet. We need you to put the bat, bat down. Put, put the needle down as well, please, mate. Right, he's going okay. Just, just, just let him chill. Let him chill. 
he's changed his mind. He knows we're not. I don't know if he's like, had a traumatic experience with the police or something. Thinks with the police. It sometimes takes people like, to just calm down and realise. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? He might be a bit intimidated because of the camera. Oh, okay. Right, I've got a camera. Okay, and I'm recording for my safety and yours. Is that all right? Okay. 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 Wants us to go inside. Do I go inside? Yeah. I want to trust him. Got right, can I get you to put the needle down? I need you to put the needle down. I'm not coming inside until you put the needle down. Or, or, or you can come to the door here and you can come chat to us at the door. Come chat to us at the door. Come chat to us at the door. We'll, we'll talk outside first. We'll talk outside first. I swear, just put it down and then pick it back up. Yeah, drop the needle. Drop the needle. Drop the needle. Put it down. Good man. Good man. Good man. Come to the door, bro. Right. Okay. We need you to talk to us. All right. We're not going to harm you. Right, you need to speak. You need to use words, bro. We're not going to harm you, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, right, okay. Can I have your name? No. We, we, I can't have your name? No. Okay, well, my name's Lewis, and, and this is my friend Luke. Hello. Okay, nice to meet you. Right, we heard from, uh, do you know what an urban explorer is? No, no. Uh, it's someone that, like, goes around and takes photos of abandoned buildings, okay? Um, do you want to come outside in some daylight a bit? Wake yourself up. No. We're not going to harm you, I promise. No. Right, all right, we'll stay here. Do you, if you want to take a seat, we can go and find one. Uh, I've got a space inside. I know, but we don't want to come inside just yet because we need to need to get some trust with you, do you know what I mean? Okay, okay. You have just like come at us with a bit of a needle. Right, so what we want to do is is we want to help you out. We've, no. we've heard- I don't need help. No, 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 no. Need help. You, <laughs> you, you do need look, look, help. Look, chill, chill, chill. Right, 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 listen, listen, right? Uh -huh. Okay, an urban explorer has told us that he has seen you here. Right, you take drugs, am I right? Yeah, yeah. What drugs do you take? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's fair enough. Just relax. Now, obviously, we can see you're in a bit of a state, okay? We, we kind of just want to help you out. So you're living in this place, am I right? Yes. Okay, how long have you been living here? I don't know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter, no, no. Okay, well, we want to offer you um, a big opportunity uh, to sort your life out and, and to, like, start the procedure in maybe potentially coming off the drugs that you're on. Um, I don't want to do that. No, no. You, why not, you bro? Why not? No, no. Why? Talk to us, bro. We're here to help. We'll why don't you just want chat to, to us. The drugs? I don't want to. Why? I need them in my life. You, I need them. You don't need them in I your do. life. What? I do. Can you can you give me a reason why you think you need drugs in your life? It's the only thing I have. The only thing. Well, what if what if you could maybe build your life in a way where you could have other things instead? Like get a job, a nice um, wife, kids. Uh, a future, right? That is what we want to help you do. Now, obviously, we can't give all that for you. You've got to work very hard for it. And we'll help you. But we will guide you and help you. And, and what we want to do first off is we would like to offer you um, a free seven days in a hotel. Okay. Now, now it's not the best hotel in the world, but I'm sure that doesn't matter to you. It's a nice one-bedroom hotel where you've got a nice warm walls, some nice, nice heating. It's cold, mate. It's, it's January. Do you know what I mean? Freezing, right, bro. but you can't sit in that hotel room taking drugs. Uh, You're not able to do that. Uh, no, no, no. Do you want to? Do you want to just relax a bit, right? Because I think you're still you're still a bit aggressive, Let's mate. Let's go inside. Let's go. Uh, what do you want to do, Lewis? I'm gonna trust him. Uh, if you pick up a single needle, I'll punch you in the face. Can I just nice state that, okay? Right, right, we're not here to hurt you. Okay, I've already stated we're not here to hurt you, all right? If you try and hurt me, I will have to defend myself. Huh? You picked the needle up again, mate. Put it down, please. I can't come in until you've put the needle down. Please put it down, mate. Don't touch anything, okay? Just stay there. Yeah, we'll do Right. Are you comfy? It's really cold in here, bro. I, I'm all right, thank you. I, I don't want to sit down, thank you. Um, what you're living in, mate, is is not human. It, you you deserve better. Um, I'm not going to go through the ins and outs of whose fault it is and why you're here, but you deserve better. Um, have you got someone else staying with you? A friend. A friend. Yeah. Well, we're also willing to help them out as well. Oh, yeah. So we can get you a hotel room, yeah? Yeah, that's all sorted, mate. Yeah, we can get you a hotel room. We can also get you some um, some gift vouchers. Uh, so you can get yourself some new clothes, we can take you shopping, go out for some meals, have some proper food, because by the wrappers I can see around here, mate, you're, you're eating eating like non-proper food. No hot meals, crisps, crap. And the state of this place as well, bro, like, this is not healthy on you. This is not healthy at all. Now, what, what you've got to accept, though, is in, in order to, to get all these nice luxury things, they're, they're, they're temporary. You've got, to, you've got to work now, you've got to grind, 
and build your life up so so you can get in a better position. Okay. Luke, keep checking out, yeah? Just check no one else is coming, all right? It, Luke, Luke's just checking that no one else comes because obviously we're, we're very vulnerable as well. We don't want, if we get hit with a needle, that could cause us a lot. We've worked well in our lives to get to this position and we want to help you do the same thing. Okay. Um, so obviously when, when people contacted us and said you were here, we, we couldn't just sit back and let you ruin any more of your life. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Come on, man, please. Okay. So you, we're going to sign you up to a drug helpline clinic. Right. Okay. okay, which is going to help you get off the heroin because okay. I think it's heroin. Are you taking any other drugs? That doesn't matter, I told you. No, matter. I understand, but we've got to be honest with each other. We've got to help each other out here. It doesn't matter. No? Uh, okay, well, obviously, they'll be able to find that out. Um, we can get you in contact with something like a food bank after the vouchers run out. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but in the hotel, you can't, you can't treat it like this, bro. You, you can't you can't be be doing things like that okay. you got to have some respect you, you're gonna have a really nice warm comfy bed and and we're we want to offer that to you do you know what I mean like it looks like you need the help and deep down I think you want it yeah. otherwise you wouldn't have invited us in okay right calm yourself down I'm gonna just take a step outside with Luke for about a minute okay yeah. right calm yourself down okay. take a bit of a breather right try and relax because I feel like you're very croaky you're very agitated still you're shaking do you know what I mean, right? Try and calm yourself down, and when you're ready, come come outside, and, and we'll continue with this conversation and see where else we can go, yeah? Okay. All right, well, we, we've also got a hamper for you, which I actually forgot to bring, uh, because Luke rushed me out the yeah, house. sorry, my fault, um, And in that hamper, there's things like a nice new clean toothbrush, we've got some soap, we've got little goodie bits, foods, you know, that's where the vouchers are as well, like, I don't know, do you know what Nando's is? <laughs> you don't. You don't know what Nando's is? How, how? Well, we got you some Nando's vouchers, which means you can go and sit and have some. Do you like chicken? Yeah. yeah. Chicken you chips. Love Nando's, mate. Yeah, chicken. Nice, us. nice warm hot food. We'll take you there. Do you know what I mean? Build a build a bit of a friendship, right? Okay. Um, so as I said, try and calm yourself down. Do what you got to do. Please, 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 don't pick up another needle and don't take another hit. And we'll be outside waiting for you whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. All right, Where brilliant. That needle that you picked up. There's loads, those. mate. There's loads. Don't worry about it. There's loads. Yeah, I told you, it just takes time to like get him to listen. It's so like, uh, what's the word? Eye-opening. Yeah, I feel quite sorry for him, and I really do want to help him out. Oh well, yeah, because he I... seems very, very nervous, very sketchy, very unaware, very, very just like, leave me alone because he knows that he's probably tried it before and he can't beat it. But I reckon if we help him enough, he could beat the drugs. Yeah, it's just determination. You've got to make sure that you actually want to get off. Yeah. Are you comfortable when he comes out um, chatting to him while I go in and clean the needles? Because obviously now he's not going to be living here. Um, obviously, urban explorers, idiot children come smash this place up and come here all the time. And the last thing we want is anyone infecting themselves or getting hurt by the needles or the drugs or the dodginess around. So that's why we have bought the um, the yellow sharp scarred bin and in the sharp scarred bin we're going to dispose of all the needles all the crap all the stuff that people yeah. could harm themselves on I don't want to be disrespectful but we've also got to cover ourselves okay, yeah. I feel like we need to get him to, to open, turn, turn out his pockets because if he's getting in our car yeah do you know what I mean or we can pay for a taxi for him to the hotel I think we should should taxi I don't know taxi or drive him taxi or, if we drive him and he pulls it you are you alright mate, right, mate? Hello, hello. it's alright you calm yourself down now yeah Yes, yes. Alright, come out. We'll, we'll, we'll take a step back for you as well. Give you a bit of space. Thank you. No worries, bro. Thank you. You seem a lot more calm now. Are you cold? Yeah, very cold. Yeah, very cold. It's January, mate. Well, should we start again? Uh, okay, okay. Alright, so do you remember what we said to you? We, we, want, we want to help you out. Yes. Alright, and in, in order to help you out, um, we want to. Uh, get your hotel for seven nights. Okay. Now after that seven nights, you won't have anywhere to stay, okay. right? So if you can check yourself into the, the drug clinic now, yes. after the seven nights in the hotel, they will give you somewhere to stay. They will help you out. They'll help you get off the drugs. It will take weeks and weeks and weeks. They'll slowly take you off of them. They'll give you food. You'll have a nice warm place to live. And eventually you'll be able to be released back into society drug free. And I don't know, do you have a dream job? No, no. Have you ever worked a job before? No, I haven't. Never, no. how, can I ask how old you are? Only 20. 20? Yeah. Man. Gee, I did think you were older, to be fair. That's a year older than me, bro. Right, so you're 20 years old, you've never worked a job. You've got many, many more years left of your life to get a job, to get some money, to make love to a wife and have a family. Is that something that you want? Yeah. Okay, well, I would personally recommend you, you take this opportunity 
Otherwise, you're going to stay in a hole like that, shooting up until someone finds you dead. Okay. And I'll be honest with you, when me and Luke first walked in earlier, I thought you were dead. We were shocked. We were very shocked. Yeah. I've never seen someone in that state before. It's not the life to live, mate. It's, it's not a life that you should be living. You don't. You deserve better. That makes sense? Yes. Now, in order to obviously go ahead with what we're doing, I do need you to go in there and collect whatever your personal belongings, right? anything you do want to take. No, nothing, nothing. You don't want to take nothing? No. Have you not got a mobile device? You haven't got any credit cards? You've I've got... got a phone and that's it. Do you want to grab the phone? Yeah. Yeah, go and grab that phone and, and then um, I'll, I'll speak to you. Oh, I think we should at least get him to turn out his pockets. Mm, oh, yeah. yeah. What? What? Every. Yeah, like, because coat. he's got needles. Yeah, okay. I don't think he's on a right wavelength of earth to hit him down his trousers. Are we doing it or are we letting... Oh, no, we'll let him do it. Yeah. I'm not patting him down. If we get stabbed, we're fucked. Have you got everything you need to grab? I, I need my phone. Just your phone? Okay, no problem. Um, now, we're going to ask you a favour here. Uh, obviously, if you don't cooperate with us, we can't go ahead with what we've got to do. You've got to respect that, obviously, you are a drug user. Yes. You do have needles around you or on you, and obviously, they could harm us. Why? Um, we're going to offer you either a taxi or you can jump in the car with us and we'll take you to the hotel personally. It's whatever you choose, but whatever one you do choose, you still need to do this for us. We're gonna need you to open or empty every single pocket you have and just display it on the floor in front of us there and just show us the empty pocket. Okay. Now, sorry to violate like that, but obviously if you do have a needle, you, you could harm us. We don't know you, you don't know us, do you know what I mean? We'll happily empty our pockets for you if that's what you want us to, okay. to do. Okay, if you can go ahead and do that, that'd be amazing. Brilliant. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much. Wallet. Okay, I've got a drink. That's right. Just a wallet. Phone. Is, is that everything or? Okay, can I just check, get you to check your jean pockets for us just to, just to make sure. We're just, just going to spin round just to just spin round for us. Perfect. No? 100%. Okay, right. If you can stay here and chat with Luke for me, right? Just keep a distance, okay? Obviously, Luke, you, you chat to him, make him feel a bit more comfortable, uh, yeah? yeah? I'm gonna enter the room, if that's okay. I've got this bucket here. Now, out of the, there are people that come around this building, I'm sure you're aware, I'm sure you're not, we're not the first people that you've met. You're, now, not, you're not the first, no. Exactly. Um, in this building, people will now go in there, they will smash it up, okay? And, um, and they will harm themselves on the, the things that you've left behind. So I'm going to use this bucket and this glove inside to just clear up some of the areas just so no one harms themselves and then we'll be on our way. Okay. Is that all right, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, right, okay. So, oh, fuck. Just drop some stuff off the thing. I'm going to pop this glove on. Don't obviously get anything myself. Okay, um, I'm not too sure how this works. sleeping on these beds fam, this, this is actually fucking grim. Poor lad, I really do want to help him to be fair. Make sure there's no more needles around, there's not actually that many around. Oh fuck, they are. Cut something up, can't they? Um, okay, okay, okay. Right, I'm pretty sure I've got everything. Um, I'm unaware if they're, oh, there's another one. Ugh. Oh, fuck it now. Move on there. Oh, dropped it. Yeah. Um, as I say, I just want to make sure the protection of younger children is fucking freezing in here. Younger children and people that come around this building are safe. Yeah, mate. Friend called John. Friend? said that he... He's the one that's been staying here with him. Who's been staying, mate? My, my friend, have you seen him? Oh, we haven't seen anyone here. Oh. He uh, hasn't been, it's not like him. He's usually, he's usually back all the time. I see him every day. He went out just early hours this morning. 
We're just stuck getting Okay. Lights. Did you did you wanna have you got his phone number? No, I don't know. Do you wanna leave him a note or because we can't wait around all day. It's really cold. Yeah, he's I'm actually freezing. freezing. Mate. <laughs> Can you grab that off my hand? Just don't pull Hopefully the you fingers. See him on our, hopefully we'll see him on our Sweet, chuck it in there, bro. Hopefully we'll see him. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll say it again, mate. Hopefully we'll see him when we're on our travels. Hopefully, yeah. If if you do want to come back in a day or so, as long as we're with you, because we can yes. bring you here. Yes, please. Yes, um, please. We can check if he's here and we can speak to him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, right. I've got all the all the the needles and things that I could find that could harm someone in this bin here. We're going to go and dispose of this. Okay. Um, and and we can be on our way. Is that everything? You nothing else you want to ask? Check. No. We'll call you. Yeah, yeah. I'm all thank, cool. thank he seems you, calm. Bo thank you both very much. No, no it's worries, fine. Mate. Fine. Don't need to thank us yet. Nothing's happened. Do you want to join us? Start walking. Yeah, we'll follow. Mm -hmm. Um, do you know you know how to get out of here? I assume. Yes, I do. Yeah. 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 It's going to be alright, mate. You're going to be in some nice warm walls and a bed tonight. You can get all comfy. Because even I'm freezing, I've only been out about half an hour. So I completely understand. Are you able to climb this gate? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you've been over it before. Yes, I have. Um, you, my car's at the bottom. Did you want to get a taxi or did you want to come with us in the car? Am I able to come with you? Of course, we can drop you at the hotel. Thank you. That's no problem. We'll check you in. You alright? Yes. Has no one ever seen you going in and out from that house there? A couple of times. I've never. Watch yourself, mate. Careful, bro. Just wait there for us. Hold the gate, Luke. Fuck oh, it now. Sorry. Sorry, mate. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. fucking hell. Fucking hell, it's actually freezing. Oh, mate, it's so bro, cold. How, have you, how long, can, can I ask again, please? How long have you been there? A couple of months. A couple of months? Yeah. What, man. through the winter? Yeah. Jesus! That's through Christmas Christ. time, isn't it? As well. Mad. Right, we're gonna now. T I didn't catch your name. What's your name, bro? Oscar. Oscar. We're gonna take Oscar to the travel lodge. Luke, do you wanna open the car for him, mate? Yeah, sure, um, jump in the car, mate. And we'll take you over to the travel lodge now and get you checked in. All right? Okay. Take it easy. What's it, mate? There we go. Go on. Take your seatbelt on for us, yeah? Okay. Good lad. Good lad. Come on, bro. Right, grab that, yeah. Yep. Alright, sweet. We're in the travel lodge. We didn't record the, um, wouldn't we record the reception part? Yeah, the reception. But this is your room for the next seven days, okay? Okay. So as I say, it's not amazing, but it will do, hopefully, for you what you need. <sighs> Come in, my guy. Luke, grab the key out the door. Come in, my guy. This is your room for the next seven days, you know? For real? Yeah, for real, bro. 100% for real. Not bad, is it? Oh, man. Thank you so much, guys. So nah, it's calm, man. Thank you. Oh, but, oh, yep. So, oh, man. I don't know why it's got two beds, but oh. maybe your friend could come and stay. Oh, yeah. bye. You got yeah. a TV, bro. Uh, oh, and hot drinks. Yeah. Everything, bro. Everything oh, you need. Like, like seven days. So, what you need to do, yeah? Is we've got we've got the program. We'll, obviously, the hamper's still at my house because Luke rushed me. Yeah, sorry. Um, we're, again. we're gonna go off in a bit. Let you chill in. Let you settle in. Um, and then we're gonna go off, and um, we're gonna maybe like let you have a shower. I don't know, bro. Come here, come here, come here. There's a hot shower. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa. I don't know. How it fucking works. There you go. We've got a nice hot shower in there. Toilet. Oh, oh, oh my god. I'll be so happy. So thank, you, thank you. Oh, thank you so bro, put it there, bro. Put it there, bro. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So basically, um, we're gonna go off now, um, and we're gonna we're gonna go and get the hamper for you. So we've got toothbrush. You've got all the essentials that you need in this place. Yes. Um, you've got seven days here, and we'll get you the leaflet. Um, we'll sit down with you, and we'll call we'll call up the um, the drug helpline. Uh, but no drugs in here, bro. Okay. We'll get okay. kicked out. There's nothing you can have. So make yourself at home. Do your thing in it, like. This is your place for seven days, bro. Is that comfier than the building? That's a lot comfier, thank you very much. No worries, bro. It's a lot warmer as well. I think there's heat in Is there heating in here, Luke? Oh, it's no, got to be a thermostat. It's, it's quite warm. Uh, it's quite warm. There's a radiator. Yeah, there's a radiator. Oh. My that guy. Man. Was, man, my we guy. We've a good deed today. Yeah, come on, my bro. Um, final question just before we end this off. So obviously we did film this whole thing for safety reasons really. Um, normally I wouldn't have filmed in the travel lodge because 
one, it's disrespectful to travel agents. Second of all, obviously, like people will just say, oh, you film, you're doing it because you're yeah. filming, you know. But we wanted to prove that we actually got you a travel lodge. Uh, you do you mind if we post this on social media? Like, you go ahead. You like to just, um, thank you very much. Your face is pretty covered, so I'm sure that <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? You're pretty yeah. cold. No one but. knows who you are. Cool, my guy. Right. Well, we'll chip off. We'll let you have a warm shower. Um, and warm up, bro. And yeah, we'll get everything that you need. Can't look. Oh, give him the key then, bro. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Run off with the key. Make sure he don't get out. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a take a break here. Um, Probably end the video off here. Big up to Oscar. Um, Big up he's Oscar. now got a travel lodge for the next seven days. And um, yeah, uh, you need to sort yourself out, bro. Yeah, thank you. All right, we'll see you in about an hour, okay? We'll bring the hamper down. I probably won't bring the camera. We'll just have a chat with you and we'll sort thank everything you. out you need. Make yourself right. at home, G. Thank you. All right. Let's go, Luke. Enjoy your night. Wait, is it closed? There we go. I can learn how to close the door. Yeah, well, sorry, anyway, bro. big up, bro. Oh, we did a good man. thing here. Uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace!